Just a day after sealing qualification to the last four, the Black Stars were back in training in Malabo. However, coach Avram Grant gave his reserve players center stage, resting most of the team that played in the 3-0 quarterfinal win against Guinea. But the man in charge was not pleased with the injury suffered by his forward, Asamoah Gyan. The Ghanaian was struck by goalkeeper Nabi Yatara, which saw the Guineans end the match with 10 men. What happened with this goalkeeper, what he did to Asamoah Gyan, I think everybody, it's opportunity to the calf and everybody to show how they protect the players. When, an injury, when a goalkeeper, when it's 3-0, go deliberately, maybe to finish the career of Asamojan, because if it was a few centimeters down, I can tell you that he, could, uh, he wouldn't play for many, many years, or many, many, a long, long time. I think the calf uh, uh, need to take a decision. I think this player needs to be banned off the game for a long, long time, even years or something like this. First, it's a bad injury. Second, if you do it when it's 3-0 in the last minute, it means that you don't respect the, the game and you don't respect your friends that play against you. The four-time AFCON champions faced the hosts Equatorial Guinea in the semi-finals on Thursday. But Grant got worried when asked about the rumors of a possible change of venue from Malabo to Bata. <laughs> I must tell you something. I'm sure that African Cup is doing everything to organize it well, but one thing that I was surprised and now not anymore that things can change in the last moment. Uh, we we was informed like any other big tournament that the winner will continue to play in Mongomo. And then the winner needed to travel to that. Now you tell me two days before the game that maybe you change the venue. So I don't know if to laugh or to cry, but <laughs> <laughs> but just tell them please to let me know at least two hours before the game, okay? <laughs> Grant, however, does not believe the home side would receive blatant support from the referee. Equatorial Guinea benefited from a hotly disputed penalty in the last minute of normal time to go on and beat Tunisia 2-1 in extra time in their quarter-final. Look, this thing I cannot control. If the referee will do one or two, three, I cannot control. I can control only <coughs> about more or less about our performance. I want uh, to believe that everything outside of the pitch is, uh, is good. I think the referees until now, from what I see, except one or two games in our games, was, uh, was good. And uh, this is not my issue, so I'm sure that everybody is aware of this and everybody that needs to take care about this will do their job. Ghana last reached the finals of the competition in 2010. Mahia Mutua, CCTV.